Trudeau's house of cards is collapsing as even his loyal NDPs turn against him. Singh is fed up with the desperate PM's broken promises and is finally baring his teeth. The so-called liberal NDP alliance stands exposed as a sham propped up by lies. Now Singh is twisting Trudeau's arm and threatening to ditch him altogether if he doesn't submit to the NDP's radical demands. After appeasing Singh's endless appetite for spending for over a year, Trudeau's coffers are empty. But the power-hungry NDP still wants more and more. With the dysfunctional coalition fraying, Singh is ruthlessly exploiting Trudeau's weakness to force national pharmacare down his throat. But this could be the final humiliation that breaks Trudeau's back. Singh's pharmacare power play aims to back the liberals into a corner and humiliate Trudeau. But in his desperation to cling to power at any cost, Canada's PM may have no choice but to surrender completely to his NDP masters. This chaotic unraveling reveals Trudeau's abject failure as a leader. He's being abandoned even by his so-called socialist allies. Welcome back to Street Politics Canada. The Liberal NDP deal to prop up Trudeau's minority government is on shaky ground as Singh threatens to walk away if pharmacare legislation isn't passed by March 1st. After making concession after concession, the NDP is finally flexing its muscle and twisting the Liberals' arm to deliver their desired policies. They say one thing and then try to get out of it, but we're not giving up and we're not backing down. The so-called Liberal NDP supply and confidence deal stands exposed for the sham that it is. This undemocratic scheme to avoid accountability is crumbling under the weight of NDP brinkmanship and liberal broken promises. Singh's Pharmacare ultimatum has pushed the dysfunctional liberal NDP coalition to the breaking point. His demand for legislation by March 1st is a line in the sand that the budget-wary Trudeau seems unwilling to cross. This could be the final straw that collapses the coalition. After over a year of appeasing the NDP's exorbitant demands, Trudeau's appetite for spending appears exhausted. The NDP has treated the Liberals like their personal bank account, forcing Trudeau to fund their dream progressive wish list, from dental care to $10 daycare and more. But universal pharmacare may simply be a bridge too far. The multi-billion dollar price tag makes even the spendthrift Trudeau pause. Passing Singh's proposed legislation would balloon deficits to dangerous new heights for a prime minister already under fire for reckless spending exceeding to the NDP on pharmacare could be political suicide. That defying Singh's ultimatum also risks toppling Trudeau's minority government, forcing an election it would likely lose. The liberals find themselves trapped with no good options. After appeasing the NDP for over a year to stay afloat, Trudeau seems unwilling to sink his government to meet Singh's latest maximalist demand. The partnership of convenience between the liberals and NDP is approaching its best before date. Trudeau's concessions kept Singh on board so far, but the well of goodwill seems to have run dry. With both sides annoyed, this contrived political arrangement looks unsustainable. Singh's pharmacare gamble may just be a final nail in the coffin for this dysfunctional coalition. Canadians are witnessing the inherent instability of a minority government propped up by an ideologically mismatched dance partner. This contrived power-sharing arrangement was built on political self-interest, not prudent policy. It was only a matter of time before it descended into bitter infighting. The NDP has maintained an iron grip on the Liberals since 2022, extracting concession after concession to advance their leftist agenda. Dental care, $10 daycare, labor reforms, the spendthrift Liberals have capitulated again and again to keep Singh on side. But Farnacare appears to be the breaking point. With the Liberals recoiling at the astronomical cost of universal Farnacare, Singh has shamelessly issued an ultimatum, pass his drug plan by March 1 or lose NDP support. After playing the role of loyal lapdog, Singh is now baring his teeth and flexing his political muscle against his liberal masters. This is a coldly calculated power play by Singh to back the desperate Trudeau into a corner. Despite lofty rhetoric, Singh cares nothing for pharmacare. This is mere political blackmail to humiliate the weakened liberals. He knows Trudeau is terrified of losing NDP backing and being forced into an election his government would lose. So Trudeau finds himself over a barrel he may be forced to choke down Singh's extravagant pharmacare plan despite the reckless spending involved. This would be utter humiliation for Trudeau, but he is stuck. Refusing the NDP's demand means losing power. Is political maneuvering by Singh, who seems intent on dragging his liberal puppets along in the mud before discarding them? In the end, Trudeau may have no choice but total surrender to his NDP masters. Between NDP demands for more spending and rising fiscal restraints, the Trudeau government faces impossible trade-offs. The days of endless progressive giveaways enabled by this unholy alliance are coming to an end. The Liberals are learning the high cost of putting power before principle. For Conservative leader Pierre Polyev, the turmoil between these unnatural governing partners is a political gift. 
He has relentlessly called out their self-serving pact for what it is, an unscrupulous scheme to impose NDP policies while avoiding voter judgment. If Singh withdraws his support, Polyev will be proven right. Polyev's principled populist message is perfectly suited for this moment of public disgust with political backroom dealing. By putting power in the people's hands, the conservatives represent a sharp contrast from Trudeau's top-down, insider-driven approach. Polyev is well-positioned to unify disaffected voters when this corrupt liberal NDP arrangement finally implodes. While the coalition partners bicker over pharmacare, kitchen table issues impacting ordinary Canadians go unaddressed. Skyrocketing inflation and cost of living have barely registered with the Liberals and NDP. Families struggling to pay bills need practical solutions, not posturing and brinkmanship. Voters expect substance, not power games from self-interested parties. The reckless Liberal NDP deal has fueled an extremist agenda totally detached from reality. While Canadians struggle, Trudeau and Singh arrogantly fiddle with radical social experiments. Their pharmacare pissing match could spark economic chaos when stable leadership is desperately needed. But these out-of-touch politicians don't care about the havoc they might wreak on struggling families just trying to survive. The Liberals and NDP are so obsessed with imposing their ideology that they're willing to torch Canada to get their way. Trudeau was scrambling to balance competing interests while avoiding voter backlash. But when you try to please everyone, you please no one. His attempts to stretch limited means to satisfy the NDP's endless demands has pleased nobody and left Canada on the brink. The PM is learning a hard lesson about leadership during scarcity. Singh's readiness to tank the government over pharmacare shows he cares more about ideology than results. He made a devil's bargain with Trudeau, and now realizes he may not get all he bargained for. Does he cut losses to salvage remaining NDP priorities or bring down the government in a fit of pique? Singh is playing with fire. Canadians are watching in dismay as political insiders gamble with the well-being of our nation. This liberal NDP amounts to rule without consent, imposing policies people never voted for. But the pharmacare spat may finally cause their house of cards to collapse. The Ottawa establishment's days are numbered. The people are ready to reclaim their rightful place at the center of Canada's destiny when this reckless alliance implodes. The inevitable demise of this dysfunctional coalition should not be mourned but celebrated. Its collapse will allow for a new principled government focused on Canadians and not the narrow interests of political elites. The pharmacare crisis will hopefully jolt our democracy from stagnation caused by backroom politicking. Out of the wreckage, a more ethical and responsive politics may emerge, returning power to the people where it belongs. Canadians are ready to turn the page on this unseemly chapter. The light of a better future beckons beyond the darkness of deal-making cloaked in secrecy. We must move forward, not backward. Well, that's all for now. At this point, is Trudeau even capable of making a decision without begging for Singh's approval? Or does he need to ask his NDP masters for permission first? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you haven't, please subscribe and leave a like for this video. Your support helps us continue our work. You can also follow us on Twitter, where we post stuff we can't post on YouTube. You can find the link in the description below. Thanks again for your support, and I will see you in the next one.